Good day, so I've received a lot of questions on exactly kind of how the float works on the interior So I thought instead of trying to describe it every time in words, I might just do a quick video for you guys to see so um, You can have a look at all the functionality of the trailer that we had custom built for the llamas and the alpacas So it is a electronic braking system. So it's the electronic hydraulic braking system It's also uh, due to the size legally required to have a breakaway system. So it's got the breakaway system installed as well all new LED lights all the way through, two windows, one on each side, and four of the whirly bird vents on the top that you can see there as well. Again, LED lights on the back, it's got a storm shutter door on the top, um, and a full spring for assisted lifting and, and drop down with a custom number plate, spare tire mount on the side, and a side door entry as well. There's a security latch, full door, bung on the outside to hold it open, and then you can compartmentalize it as you see fit. So there is the breakaway system mounted inside, large window in the front, and as you can see it's got the four whirly bird vents on the top, and LED lights installed inside, one in the front and one in the back. This interior gate, as you might be able to see, is also custom built. And it was to divide it so that there could be a walkthrough so that we could compartmentalize everybody. So there's a slide and lock so you can either keep it open if you like during. And then there's three different settings that you can put it. So as you can see, all the gungeons exist on the wall already. And I've been told by the manufacturer that all of the, the kind of the reinforcement behind the metal is what would be there for the standard horse splits. So um, in theory, there should be the mounting plates and brackets to support all the crossbars for your horses, as this is a triple angle horse load. Uh, there's the two windows on the side. They've got some mounting mesh on top of them as well. And then this big gate has two locks on it so that you can swing it completely open. It's also really easy to just lift up and take away as well. So if you wanted to have a full open trailer, you could. And once again, just pick it up, shift it onto the three different settings. So you can have a small compartment in the first third, a small compartment in the second third, or split half and half. And I'll walk you out back and open up. locking bar in place so that it doesn't open during transport, I think. So there's a lock on that front door as well as the back, so you can actually secure it as well for overnight travel. carpeted floor ramp with a couple bracing steps and then these are the other gates that we've had custom made so these just fit on gungeons on each side and then just quite easily slide out to assist with loading so that there's no off the side of the ramp directions and then the inside opens up like a barn door So again, you can either do single load down one side, double load down both sides. And then I've just put a couple cable ties or bungee cords sorry, on the outside so that they don't swing when it's on a hill. So yeah, so as you can see, it kind of opens up quite nice, but it also gives you that added security that you can just shut the door behind them um, and leave the tailgate down. And leave that tailgate down so that you can load one side at a time and just close it back. 
these interior gates as well, you know, again, they were custom made, but quite simply just sit on a couple of gungeons inside and can easily be pulled out completely, as well as the side gates too. So these just lift off um, and they're really light because they're aluminium frame. So they're actually really easy to carry compared to the, the steel of the rest of it. So yeah, so that's kind of the functionality that we had intended for it. So we wanted to be able to load safely um, be able to compartmentalize everything and as you can see works really well for for alpacas uh, as well as llamas so it's your, your typical height horse trailer um, so it's two point I can't remember I put the dimensions in the thing I think it's 2.1 2.2 that's gonna be higher than that 2.3 maybe if I'm 1.8 standing inside of it um, yeah so all the dimensions are listed in the description for the auction but feel free to have a look. Just thought it would probably be a lot easier to go through a video and walk you through um, so you could actually see it yourself. Great, well, get in touch if you are interested in purchasing it. Uh, my contact number is 021-795-888. Thanks.